Ich bin Locust, ich bin der Dosser und ihr schaut Mainframe TV. Echt? Was du nicht? Also es ist halt ganz unterschiedlich, weil wir zwei eigene Artists sind, aber bei mir war es so, dass ich mit MC Flex ein Tune gemacht habe, Full Control, auf meiner IP drauf. Und wir haben halt ein Label gesucht dafür und äh, sind halt zum Ende von Recordings gekommen und dadurch hat sich irgendwie der Release ergeben dann. Ja, ich meine, bei mir war es ähnlich. Thanks. Ich meine, ich habe hab irgendwie einen Tune gebaut, aber er schon länger in, in Daniel Leben schon länger kennt. Und habe ihm halt irgendwann einen Tune geschickt und er hat gesagt, ja, ist cool, leider das und den bringen wir aus. Und er braucht noch mehr Tunes, die wir auch rausbringen. Und das war halt so irgendwie so eine Tür geöffnet für mich, weil ich halt meine Tunes gemacht habe und er ihm geschickt habe und er hat es rausgebracht und dann hat er weitere Tunes von mir rausgebracht, die ich gemacht habe. Ich sage es jetzt war das erste Mal, dass wir zwar als Mainframe Artists back to back gespielt haben, das auf jeden ja, Fall. Als Mainframe Artists. Richtig. Und also ich muss sagen, es war auf jeden Fall eine super Erfahrung. Weil, war cool. Weil, ich mein, man, man, man kann nicht viel sagen dazu. Ich mein, Im Prinzip ist ein Kick wie jeder andere. Aber andererseits ist halt doch irgendwo das Monopol von Grumman Bay ist beim Mainframe vorhanden, sage ich mal. Und da smasht es halt gescheit rein, wenn man da auflegen kann. Das macht halt schon irgendwie einen Sinn. Vollkommen richtig. Äh, Im Endeffekt, für mich, also ich kann immer nur für mich sprechen, für mich ist halt so, mir macht die ganze Gaude Spaß, selbstverständlich, auflegen und so ist immer gerade, Musik machen ist immer gerade, ob das jetzt Mainframe ist oder ob das jetzt, keine Ahnung, eine 15 Party irgendwie in einem scheiß Kaffee ist, ist mir eigentlich wurscht, Hauptsache ich habe meinen Spaß dabei und den habe ich definitiv, oder? Das ist, ich mein, ich kann ich nur... Solange man, solange man ich kann nur befürworten, also das Leimann ist halt das Mainframe einfach unbestritten in Österreich auch nicht für die größten Partys ist. Und von dem her ist es schon eine Ehre, da irgendwie dabei zu sein und aufzulegen. Und da ist die Motivation irgendwie automatisch dabei, würde ich sagen. Ja, also die nächste Single von mir kommt außer in 14 Tagen, Beyond und Get Up. Und der nächste Follow-up-Release ist eigentlich auch schon geplant und kommt auf einig. Es kommt auf jeden Fall einiges nur auf euch zu, auf Mainframe. Von meiner Seite her. Ja, von meiner Seite aus. Es gibt immer wieder Sachen, an denen ich arbeite bzw. die released werden werden. <lacht> Somit kann ich sagen, ich freue mich total, ein Part der Mainframe Recordings zu sein, so wie du. Ich glaube, wir rulen den Shit irgendwann. <lacht> auf jeden Fall. <lacht> We love you guys. This is Dirty Phonics checking out. <laughs> <laughs>
So let's go even further and harder and like work hard, play hard. That's it. Honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen in 10 years. Like, it, would, it, it would be boring to know, you know, yeah. what's gonna be. Um, what we're sure of is that, yes, we're gonna keep imp incorporating more and more stuff and more influences in our music. Um, on our debut album, Irreverence, you know, we opened the album on a pure classical piano track and we close it with the um, uh, drum and bass metal hybrid. Um, you know, we played the guitars and the bass, uh, we did some vocals for it. Um, and, and you know, the, and, and it's the fun part in, in, in being in the studio. You know, you show up there and you have, you're on this vibe and you keep writing the music and then you're like, oh, let's do this thing. And you're like, ah, I don't know if I can do it. And then boom, you finally do it and you, you, know, you push yourself. And, and, and that's the best thing. It's like, I don't know if you guys have ever skateboarded, but um, it's the same feeling, you know? You can jump over, you can only over uh, one step. The next thing you want to only over two steps and then three steps. And it's the same thing with music. You know, you never stop. You always want to push further and more. And after that, you stroll yourself on the rail. <laughs> and, you, and you get back on your board. Yeah, and you smash your face. And one a good time, like even a couple slams, but you always go back, come back on your board just to keep doing it because you just love it. That's it. The hashtag Dirty Boobs, um, the easiest way to figure it out is to go on our Facebook page. Uh, you go in the albums, photos, and, and there is a category with a bunch of beautiful breasts. Um, some of them are beautiful. Um, and yeah, and basically the, the, the concept is to, you know, we're, we're sharing this moment, we're at a show, we're playing, we're sharing the music, we're sharing the energy. And, and a lot of, you know, people uh, want to keep a, a souvenir from the show. Um, and of course you have the music and the memory. Um, and, and, and some girls uh, are lucky enough to exit the show with a stamp on their tits. And that's what's up. Yeah, but it's kind of like branding. Yeah, everything started in Kiev, if yeah. I remember correctly. Ukraine. Ukraine and that was pretty much the first time we had like so many people asking for autograph and I think we spent like two hours and a half after the show signing people like girls boobs or like <laughs> arms or head and like everything faces. you can sign. yeah pretty much and after that gig we're like that was really fun but we need to find a we a really much more faster way to do it and we came up with the idea of the stamp it was just like something I don't know, natural. Yeah, well, and the funny thing is that now we're at shows and during the show, you know, we'll bring out the stamp and as soon as the stamp is out, you can see like the first row, all the girls are like, eh, me, 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 me. <laughs> so yeah, you know, it's, it's a fun thing that we share with our fans um, and, and, you know, we're talking about the dirty boobs and girls, but it's also, you know, dudes, they, they want it on their forehead, on their tongue, on, you know, arms, anywhere you can, basically. Yeah, and some people get the, the tattoo out of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. A bunch of people get the stamp and then the morning after they'll go to the tattoo shop and get the stamp tattooed on their arm for life. So it's, it's, it's a pretty big deal for us, you know, yeah. um, figuring out that some people are so much into what we do that they want to keep this memory of this moment with us, of our yeah. music. That, that's it. At the beginning, I was like, are they crazy? Like, why do they want to have our stamp, our logo on the skin? And I was just thinking about it and was like, no, this is just something they want to remember for life because that night meant something special for them. This is it, they had such a blast. You never know how and well, like how people go through their life and like where they come from or whatever. So I was like, wow, this is even bigger than I thought when I was thinking, actually thinking about it. So I have a lot of respect for that. And so where's your Dirty Phonics tattoo? No, I can't show it right now. <laughs> <laughs> How many boobs do we have or how many boobs have we signed? <laughs> I think on the album we are maybe about 200 pictures of... That's it? Something like that. No, maybe more. I don't know. Maybe that, maybe some like 200 boobs that's have been stamped. Uh, actually, that's 400 boobs. Because oh, every time right. there's that's two. Right. That's right. Yeah, basically, um, we started the Dirty Phonics project. There was four of us in the band, and um, Thomas left the band six months ago now, oh, or eight like months ago. Really okay. Yeah, well, that's it's the story, man. Uh, basically, Thomas just had a baby, um, and he chose to uh, go for the family life. Big up to him. Uh, we're definitely gonna miss him in the band, but you know, life goes on. We're very happy for him and his baby and his family, and uh, we're definitely keeping pushing the Dirty Phonics sound and brand and uh, band, and you know. Everyone's doing his thing and it, it's awesome to see that, you know, everyone's happy. Um, so yeah, big up. And uh, so like after that, we just decided like to keep on touring with the DJ set. So Julian is 
in the studio working on music when we don't have the time. I mean, we're actually producing on, on, on the road, but he has actually more time to produce in the studio. So this is how we work together right now. And the new EP gonna tell us if we did well or not, but I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty, yeah. I feel strong about it, so we'll see. Yeah, man, the, the new EP is gonna be fucking sick. And hi, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> It's like saying hi, mom. <laughs> right. So yeah, new EP coming out on Dim Mac in the fall. Um, we're super happy about it. This is, you know, we haven't we haven't put out a, a, a big body of work since then. After the album, we wanted to not take some time off, but uh, we didn't want to like jump in another album project because it's a you know pretty big thing to do. Um, so we did a bunch of remixes for people like you know Lincoln Park and Cascade, Stevie Aoki, obviously, Castlevania. Castlevania. And yeah, you know, now now's the time. Um, we actually wrote that new EP pretty fast. Uh, the, yep. the music came out like this. We were really inspired. And uh, yeah, man, super excited about it. This is kind of like Dirty Phonics 2.0. Yep. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to uh, share the music with you guys. It's going to be out in the fall. Um, not exactly sure about a release yeah. date now, yeah. but um, yeah. 4 cheese pizza. 4 fucking cheese pizza. And added parmesan on top. It's actually five cheese pizza. <laughs> I don't know. He likes triple meats. That's your fave. Come on. I don't know. I don't, I don't Chicken, pepperoni, spicy beef, yeah, spicy. sausage. Yeah, spicy for, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Spicy. Any kind of spicy pizza. I don't care. Mushroom cheese. I keep it simple. Mushroom yeah. cheese. Simple. Tomato. Five different kinds of no, meat. You say Mushroom. That. You say tomato. That. I didn't say that. <laughs> keep it simple. Tomatoes. Mushrooms and cheese and a lot of spicy sauce. So you don't eat chicken all the time? No, not on pizza. You do? Not on pizza. I'll prove you wrong. Prove me wrong. You'll owe me 10 bucks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dude, no fucking pickles in a cheeseburger. Who the fuck thought that it was a great idea to put pickles in a cheeseburger? It kills the taste. Little story. I take the cheeseburger and I don't have time to wait and ask for like, you know, special order without pickles. So what I do is I grab the cheeseburger, open it up, grab the pickles out, give them to Pitchin because he's a pickle bitch and um, he eats them. So, you know, it's just what we do. It's, it's a bam thing. Yeah. And I, after that, I did um, an overdose of pickles. So I don't eat pickles anymore. All right. So we have a big box of pickles at home and we just like give pickles over to people at the shows. Yep. That's, that's our new thing. Stop. You know, we're stopping with the stamp. Now it's like dirty pickles all, all night long. <laughs> We love you guys. This is Dirty Phonics checking out Dimac Records. New EP out in the fall. Let's fucking party. Let's get dirty.